the legacy of Mr. Jinnah. As the nation celebrates Qaid e Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's 141st birthday, we look back at a rare collection of photographs that attempt to reveal the various facets of his personality. Bombay's boy barrister. After becoming the youngest Indian student to be called to the bar on April 29th, 1896, at Lincoln's Inn, London, Mr. Jinnah moved to Bombay and began working as a lawyer. Within the span of a few years, he became one of the leading lawyers in the subcontinent. Automotive elegance. Mr. Jinnah seated next to his old-time friend Pestenji H. J. Rustamji in Bombay in the early 1900s. At the back is Pestenji's daughter, Homi. Incidentally, Pestenji H. J. Rustamji was the maternal uncle of Ardisher Kawasji, the esteemed Don columnist. The wedding that shook Bombay. The beautiful Rathi Jinnah was Mr. Jinnah's second wife. The couple fell in love in Darjeeling in 1916. Two years later, they were married. After Rathi, who was a Parsi, converted to Islam despite virulent family opposition, an enduring friendship. Mr. Jinnah smiles broadly as he stands next to his friend and political ally, Raja Muhammad Amir Ahmed Khan, popularly known as the Raja Sahab of Mehmudabad. Raja Sahab was the youngest member. of the working committee of the All India Muslim League in 1937 he founded the All India Muslim Students Federation which soon became the backbone of the Pakistan movement flowers in exile mr jinnah on the grounds of his hampstead home in the early 1930s mr jinnah moved to london with his daughter dina and sister fatima after the second round table conference ended in failure during the four years of this self-imposed exile mr jinnah had a thriving practice as a privy council lawyer in 1934 he returned to india to assume the presidency of the all india muslim league rare relaxation mr jinnah can be seen relaxing at the famous cecil's hotel in simla Responding to Lord Mountbatten, Mr. Jinnah is about to record his response to Lord Mountbatten's June third plan, which announced that India would be divided into two dominions: Pakistan and India. Approaching independence, Mr. Jinnah and Miss Fatima Jinnah arrived in Karachi on August seventh, nineteen forty-seven. A week later. Pakistan came into being after years of struggle on August 14th, 1947. The last visit. Mr. Jinnah was welcomed by Khwaja Nazimuddin when he arrived at Governor General House, Dhaka. This was Mr. Jinnah's first visit to East Pakistan as Governor General and unfortunately his last. During his last visit to Dhaka, then East Pakistan, Mr. Jinnah declared at a mammoth public gathering on March 21st 1948 having failed to prevent the establishment of pakistan the enemies of pakistan have turned their attention to disrupting the state by creating a split among the muslims of pakistan if you want to build up yourself into a nation for god's sake give up this provincialism the founder of dawn Mr Jinnah in conversation with Altaf Hussain the first editor of Dawn Karachi who visited Mr Jinnah to wish him a happy birthday on December 25th 1947 exactly 70 years ago it was at the behest of his colleagues including Altaf Hussain that Mr Jinnah agreed to be photographed reading Dawn the newspaper he had founded the headline on the front page of Dawn that day stated 71 today there is a trace of a whimsical smile on mr jinnah's lips as he glances at the newspaper